here at Mobile World Congress Los Angeles at the Ericsson booth. I'm with uh, Neil Spiegelin from Ericsson, and we're talking about how Ericsson's investing in 5G and working with its customers. Um, so first of all, how is Ericsson um, investing in helping its customers bring 5G networks and services to market? So far, what we have done um, together with our customers is deploying non-standalone. They've been quite successful with that. So end to end, we have uh, around 71 agreements. 24 announcements of the contracts officially by press releases, and then 20 networks live. Yeah. And then for standalone, which is the next step in the, in the 5G evolution, is my solution area is developing totally new cloud native software for what we call dual mode 5G cloud core. Okay. With, with cloud native software, then we can have a totally different agility and speed both how we develop the software, but also how our customers, operators, deploy the software. Okay. There are new capabilities like doing in-service software upgrade, doing canary testing. Instead of doing a number of software upgrades per year, doing it maybe monthly. Right. So that's one opportunity with cloud-native software. Secondly, we also have automation, like uh, network slicing, so later on we will see demos of uh, network slicing uh, capabilities, how you can set up different slices in a network in order to, for the operators to provide different greater quality of service to uh, different applications. Okay, and how about um, the, uh, uh, the, the co-innovation side? So how is, how is Ericsson working with its customers more closely to sort of bring these, uh, uh, these solutions to market? So of course we try to co-innovate together with the customers in order to do things beyond 3D PP, which is the standard. So it's super important to be, have all the open interfaces defined in 3D PP and also using open source. And when we're using open source, we do, do upstream first. So all the changes we do to open source, we contribute to uh, CNCF in order to reuse it. Then we also try to do uh, things beyond that in order to innovate the new stuff with the ecosystem. Okay, it's definitely a new way of working. Well, uh, Niels, thanks very much for spending the time with us. I appreciate it.